Well, hello and welcome to day eight of this series uh, leading up to the celebration of Jesus's birth in, in a few weeks time. Uh, back in the 1980s, Kathy and I went to uh, a Christian camp. Uh, it was one of the first of its kind held in Essex, I think. And the main speaker was an American uh, called Jamie Buckingham. Some of the older folks amongst us might remember him. And uh, he taught through the week, uh, lots of sessions, did a lot of counselling, I think, and so on. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember what he actually spoke about now, but what I can remember is what he did. Because we finished on the Sunday night, Monday morning, he was out there with all the others, sleeves rolled up, and he was helping to take the big marquee, 500,000 seat or whatever it was, helping to take that down and pack it up. And I was really impressed. He was serving. And uh, it, the, the verses today, Isaiah 42, begin like this. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him, and he will bring forth justice to the nations. A bruised reed he will not break, and a faintly burning wick he will not quench. That's encouraging for us. He's not going to break us when we feel weak or uh, in difficulties. But Jesus himself served and served and served. That was his life. And uh, even though it, when it was a cost to himself, remember in John 14, he withdrew to a desperate, desolate place by himself. But then the crowds found him and he had to feed 5,000. And then after that, the crowds left. Uh, he sent the disciples away across Galilee and he went up the mountain to pray. And what happened? The disciples were struggling in the boat and he walked out to them. So he lost his prayer time. And then when the boat landed, the people there brought all their sick to him to be healed. So he just gave himself and gave himself. He's a serving saviour. He modelled what it's like to serve. It's giving oneself for others, giving oneself to others. John says in chapter 3, God so loved the world that he gave his son, gave himself to us. And in these days, it's, we don't find many people who like to serve. Most people like to be served, like to be helped. Let us be people who model the life of Jesus and display Jesus to other people. We magnify him to the world around. As Paul says, do not grow weary in doing good. And as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone. May the Lord bless you today. Have a great serving day.